Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy. So we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's get to it. Before we uh, start the, the, the message here, I was channeling a song here. Um, and I had to look it up to see who the song was by. It's by Little Baby. Um, it's called Drip Too Hard. Um, the, 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 the part that I kept hearing was, Drip too hard, don't stand too close. You gonna mess around and drown off this wave. So, I don't know what that's for here, but I do know that you are shining here. Because drip too hard means like, you know, you shining, you know, you're you're doing your thing here. Um, and so, yeah, stand too close, you're going to mess around and drown off this wave here. So, somebody literally could be trying to get close to you here. But I feel like it's someone that, you know, did you wrong or someone that you possibly have already, you know, removed yourself from here. Um, whoever this person is or these people are, taking how it resonates. Yeah, if they get too close and I feel like it's about your light. It's about your spiritual protection. You know, it's about you staying on the sh uh, to on the path, the straight and narrow path here. Somebody literally could be trying to come in to, to take you off that path. You know, you're going right. They're going to try to get you to go left here. But whoever this person is, they don't know that if they try to get too close to you, yeah, something is going to happen here. Um, if these people or this person tries to get too close or tries to infiltrate your energy in a way that could literally take you off your path here yeah these people are going to literally for some of you they could literally drown here um that's not for everybody but yeah whoever these people or this person is or are yeah if they get too close or try to get too close which means coming in trying to love bomb you showing you fake love or whatever to try to infiltrate your energy something is definitely going to happen to this person or these people here so that was for somebody but let's go yeah, buddy, we got the sneaky fox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God is in the building. So we have a sneaky fox here that is watching you, planning and plotting here on how to infiltrate your energy here. Yeah. Moving forward, coming towards you, card is here. So yeah, there's a sneaky fox here that is planning and plotting on how to come towards you here, how to infiltrate your energy here. They definitely are waiting and watching to see, you know, your next move. Whoever this Mickey Fox is, they literally are watching you move forward here. And they are planning and plotting to come in to try to infiltrate your energy here. Yeah, the Slippery When Wet card came. Uh, uh, well, flipped over, but it didn't come out here. So yeah, somebody, whoever this is, they're already on a Slippery Slope here. So whoever this is, yeah, they're left field and you're right field here. Um, so whoever this is, they are trying to come in, you know, to basically get you to go left field here. We have the trapezium here. So yeah, somebody's trying to um, come in to, 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 to trap you here. Whoever this is, they're a sneaky fox. They're trying to come towards you to trap you here. But whoever this is, again, drip too close, don't, excuse me, drip too hard, don't stand too close. You're going to mess around and drown off this way well this is the this is the drowning here the trap so whoever this sneaky fox is that wants to try to come towards you to get you trapped here to get you to go left here yeah they're going to fall on their own trap here mm -hmm.
Yeah, we have the eraser here. Mm-hmm. This is somebody that you've already erased out of your life here. Or this is somebody that you need to erase out of your life here. But whoever this is, yeah, they're literally trying to erase your success here. They're trying to stop you from moving forward here. But in a very bad way here. Mm-hmm. They're possibly trying to come towards you to erase some, some things that they have done behind the scenes against you as well here. Yeah, with this apple in the reverse here, yeah, they're trying to erase erase what you know here. I feel like that they're just trying to drain you of everything that you have, whoever this person is, them trying to come towards you here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also, whoever this person is, they're going to try to come towards you here because they're already trapped in some type of situation here. And so they're going to try to come towards you here. To basically stop you from releasing some type of information here or possibly from you know spreading wisdom and knowledge possibly helping people here whoever you are you possibly you know help people when it comes to wisdom and knowledge here so you could be a life coach here you could be a true speaker here you could be a healer you know a, a teacher a doctor a lawyer anything to help people and so yeah whoever this is yeah but for some of you that somebody's uh, gonna come in you know try to trap you by possibly acting like that they have amnesia here acting like that they don't know what took place behind the scenes or acting like that they didn't play a part in whatever took place behind the scenes when it comes to you here yeah yeah if you allow this person to come towards you you're going to be very disappointed here but at the end of the day whoever this person is they're not going to be able to get toward get to you here and that's going to be disappointing to this person here Mm -hmm. yeah this person is definitely going to be disappointed because they're going to find out the hard way here and I feel like that whoever this person is God will let this person get to a certain extent just for them to fall in their own trap here but whatever this trap is that is that this person is planning and plotting to set for you here yeah it's not a good one it's not a good one here why is this fox here? Yeah, we have the Empress in the reverse here. So this could be a karmic here. So this so this sneaky fox could be a karmic here. Or this sneaky fox, you know, literally doesn't want you to be an empress or doesn't want you to operate in the empress energy here. I feel like if there's somebody who doesn't want you to be shining bright like a diamond, it's somebody that doesn't want you to be successful and victorious here. It's somebody that doesn't want you to have what you have. It's somebody that wants to stop you from moving forward here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But somebody literally is also going to find out about some type of sneaky fox here and it definitely could be a karmic here so it could be somebody here that wants to come towards you because they're finding out about a karmic here somebody that they possibly were dealing with here we have the empress in reverse so for some of you with the empress in reverse uh it's about a child because we do have a child here um somebody literally could not be taking care of a child as well here because if you look at the card upright you see this woman feeding a child but in the reverse here, they're not feeding this child here. Somebody could also, you know, have said that you weren't a good mom here. Somebody, whoever this sneaky fox is, they literally did try to ruin your reputation in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. And I feel like that they're really finding out who the bad mom is or who the, the bad person is in their life here. After they've already tried to sabotage you here. Yeah. Whoever this is, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have victory here. So somebody literally is going to try to um, get some type of victory here with you by coming towards you here. But it's also because they see that you're almost at the finish line when it comes to something in your life here. So whatever 
this person or these people have done behind the scenes, yeah, you're almost at the finish line. So something is almost over. So if there was some type of um, legal situation going on, it's almost over here. So somebody's possibly trying to come in to literally stop this from ending or stopping from you having victory here. This victory card is a number six card. So this definitely could be a past person here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever this past person is, they could have listened to whoever this Empress in Reverse is. It could be their mom here as well. Um, it is feminine energy. So uh, feminine karmic energy or their mom. I feel like anybody that is around this person or this person is attached to our karmics here because the Sticky Fox card came out. So birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, this definitely could be a karmic here. But it also could be karmic family members here. But yeah, there's a person here, possibly a past person, that literally is going to try to come towards you here. Um, they say that you're almost at the finish line here when it comes to some type of victory in your life here. And so this person wants to stop you from having this victory here. They want to get you trapped here. For some of you, we have this worry card. And if you see, um, it's some type of, um, what is that, x-ray and somebody's worried about their health here so whoever this is they literally could have health issues here so they're trying to get you trapped here with whatever health situation that they have going on and if it's not that you know they have some type of health situation going on here that's the trap that they're going to fall into because this worry card is a number five card so yeah whoever this person is if they try to come towards you whether they have a health issue or not. If they have a health issue, their health is going to get worse. Possibly to the point to where they're erased off of the, the face of the earth here. Mm-hmm. Because for some of you, this person does have some type of health issue here. And they're literally going to try to act like with the eraser and the apple in the reverse. Information in the reverse. That they don't know what nobody's talking about here. Or they're just not going to disclose this information here. Somebody's trying to get you trapped up. And it, and it has something to do with health issue here. So somebody literally could be, this person literally could be trying to come in and get you sick here or something like that. Um, and if this person isn't sick, the fact of the matter is I, they're going to be sick once they figure out that they can't come towards you. Um, yeah. But somebody literally is going to try to come in, you know, and they're not going to reveal this to you here. Or if you know that this person is sick here. Um, you know, if you was to question this person about it, they would basically act like that they don't know what you're talking about. What you talking about, Willis? Somebody's name could be Willis here. Why is this eraser here? Yeah, we have Virtue here. But if y'all see, this is like a fire truck here. So for some of you, something about a fire could be significant here. Mm-hmm. We have FDNY, so New York could be significant. The number three could be significant. Somebody's life path number could be a number three here. But if you see, there's a person going up this um, ladder here trying to escape here. So yeah, somebody's going to try to literally <laughs> get out of something here. So somebody, So somebody knows you're almost at the finish line here. So somebody's going to come in and try to trap you here. To basically stop you so if they have a uh, again some type of health issue here physical health issue um, yeah they're gonna try to come in and, and give this health issue to you whatever this health issue is here this person is gonna come in and act and literally not reveal what's going on with them yeah they're literally trying to escape here so they're trying to get out of something whatever this victory is that you're almost at the finish line with here yeah, this person played a part and they're trying to get out over here and they're trying to stop you either any way, shape, form, or fashion here. Mm hmm. Yeah. This person literally is going to try to escape here by not revealing some type of information here. Why is this apple in the reverse? Will of Fortune here. Yeah, somebody doesn't is trying to escape something here. Somebody doesn't want some information to be revealed here, and it could be about some type of finances here with the will of fortune. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody, whoever this is, they they definitely do have health issues here. For some of you, for others of you, they don't. 
Um, but again, if they try to come towards you, yeah, their health is going to change drastically here. Um, but there's but this person also has finance issues here. Whoever this person is, they're not going to reveal anything to you here. They're going to keep everything hidden here because they literally don't want you to have victory. They don't want to pay the cost to be the boss. So if they committed some type of crime against you, they don't want to, you know, do the time, but they wanted to do the crime here. Um, they don't want some type of information to be revealed. So again, whatever you do in your life, it could be your job or just a hobby or your passion here. It's about speaking some type of truth here. This person literally is trying to escape this truth from getting out here. They're also trying to come in to trap you here. And this person literally is having finance issues as well here. Mm hmm Sneaky Fox with the Empress in the reverse here. We have a house here. So yeah, whoever the Sneaky Fox is, they're, they're going to try to infiltrate your home here. I'm also picking up too that this person isn't is 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 withholding some information about a home as well here. Whoever this person is, they built a home with a karmic here. They built the home with somebody that didn't take care of the, the, the home. They didn't take care of the children. They didn't take care of anything here. Yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, they're expecting to come towards you here. To have some type of victory here. With this expectation card. For some of you, yeah, they possibly don't have a home to go to here. Maybe that's what they're withholding with the apple in reverse. That they don't have a home to go to here. Mm-hmm. But this is somebody that literally talked about you in a very bad way behind your back. And didn't have the balls to say it to your face here. This is the person that thinks that they're going to move forward with you here. They're expecting to have victory with you. But they're expecting to stop you from getting to this finish line. Let me say that. Let me not say that they're expecting to have some type of victory here with you. They are. They're expecting to win against you. Whoever this is. Secretly, they're trying to battle with you. Or they're trying to cause a war with you secretly here. To stop you from getting to the finish line here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But drip too hard. Don't stand too close. You're going to mess around and drown off this way if this person thinks or has the expectation of coming towards you to stop you from getting to the finish line here yeah sad news big baby little baby sad baby wham 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 you the baby yeah sad news sad news here yeah this person they literally are sick so so for the majority of you somebody literally is sick here and it has something to do with their physical health. This person literally could have went to the doctor here. So yeah, they know that they trapped themselves. Whatever they were doing behind the scenes to get this sickness here. Whether it be indulging in toxic substances. Some type of sexual. Or you know, literally just a lifestyle that they chose to live here. Yeah, this person knows that they trapped themselves here. Whoever this is, yeah, you're going to receive some sad news here. Um, or... Excuse me, this person is going to receive some sad news here, or they've already received some sad news. For some of you, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors are going to go ahead and reveal this to you here. And it could be sad for you, but at the end of the day, realize that this person literally is trying to come towards you to trap you here. So your spirit guides, your spiritual team is definitely going to save you here. It's a secret battle that this person is trying to, to wage against you, a secret war here. Yeah. And it could literally be a feminine energy here. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, um, somebody is finding out who the sneaky fox is. Somebody's finding out that they built a home with the karmic. They were expecting to have victory with this person and move forward here. But they're going to receive some sad news. And it could be about the karmic here. Or it could be about themselves. Or it could be about both. Take it how it resonates here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody, whoever this person is, is trying to come towards you here. Yeah. Whatever they have done behind the scenes here, against you here, to have you almost at the uh, the finish line here, yeah, it's definitely something about ex unexpected money here. Yeah, so whoever this person is, yeah, they're trying to escape here. They're trying to escape here. Somebody's also going to receive some bad news about some money here as well. So like I said, whoever this person is, they have health issues and finance issues here. But yeah, somebody knows that they owe you or something like that. 
there is some unexpected money for you to have here for you for for you to for, to be had when it comes to you here and this person is trying to erase this so this person is trying to get out of this here they're tr trying to get out of possibly paying you this money here they're possibly trying to get out you know of doing time for the crime here mm-hmm yeah we have a good lady here at the bottom of the deck mm-hmm so yeah I'm picking up this is your energy here whoever you are you are a good lady you are a good man so yeah you 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 are selfless not selfish here you give more than you receive here whoever you are here you're getting ready to receive some type of unexpected money here and this person knows it because they play some type of part in doing something behind your back here to cause you to be receiving this unexpected money here whoever this person is or these people take it how it resonates yeah they're trying to escape this they're trying to erase this they're literally trying to erase you here or they're trying to erase their memory or whatever the situation is here they don't want you to know something here but the fact of the matter is drip too drip too hard don't stand too close you're gonna mess around and drown off this way so yeah whoever this person is they're not going to literally be able to get close to you at all regardless they've already trapped themselves here with some type of health issue for the majority of you for others of you they are going to fall in their own trap here so if somebody was trying to physically harm you or something like that because we can look at it this way here for money here yeah well what goes around comes around the will of fortune is getting ready to turn into your favor here you're getting ready to to to, to gain a lot of money here mm-hmm yeah Somebody literally could have could be selling a home here with this gaining a lot of money here. So somebody could literally be taking some type of risk here to to sell a home here as well here. It could be a karmic here that was that going behind somebody's back here to sell a home, trying to gain a lot of money here. Or somebody literally built a a home on a faulty foundation here with a karmic here. Literally literally just trying to gain money here. Yeah you're going to continue to move forward here there's no reason for you to look back here I'm picking up the past doesn't matter it's what's it's what's in front of you that that matters here yeah because somebody was expecting for you to get locked up here or somebody that's what somebody's trying to get trying to do come toward you to possibly get you locked up to stop you from getting to the finish line here yeah well that ain't gonna happen because yeah for some of you this person has already received sad news for others of you they're going to receive sad news if they try to come towards you here yeah we have sad news and bereavement here so for some of you i can't make it up i can't make it up mm -hmm. yeah for some of you um, whoever this person is, they possibly were saying that you were doing unethical things to get money here, to try to get you locked up here. Somebody, th this person definitely said that you weren't a good mom. You didn't take care of your kids here. Um, yeah, whoever this person is, they said a lot behind the scenes, but they didn't have the balls to say it in your face here. Yeah. But I'm also picking up too. Whoever this is that has this health issue, yeah, they're going to get some sad news here. Um, with this bereavement and worry here somebody literally could be told that they only have a certain amount of time to live here You're getting ready to receive some expected money here Somebody literally is trying to come in and stop this here Whether it be a past person or a karmic or both y'all take it how it resonates But at the end of the day whoever this is they're definitely a false person here So this is somebody that literally could have tried to get you set you up um, Saying that you have something to do with a death here with this prison and bereavement here Mm-hmm. Whoever this is, yeah, they're trying to escape everything that has that, that they have done behind the scenes here. Yeah, you came a long way here. You came a long way. So your your spiritual team, which God is in charge of, ain't no way, shape, form, or fashion they're gonna let anybody come in and, and stop you here. Whoever you are, you've came a long way. You've changed your life, you've done the work thus far and yeah you're gonna reap the benefits of it here you're gonna receive your blessings nothing less here yeah yeah whoever this person is they've been a false person uh, the whole time that they've been in your life here and yeah you you came a long way 
for the for this for your wheel of fortune to turn in your favor. Yeah, a journey in the reverse. So yeah, whoever this is, they think that they're coming towards you. They're not. They're not. And this is somebody that didn't want to get on their spiritual journey. Now they're going to try to act like that they want to get on their spiritual journey and, you know, get on this path with you. Nope. Nope. Yeah, the person that's going to prison is this rich girl here. There could be uh, somebody else that's going to prison as well. Yeah, because somebody definitely did steal from you. So for some of you, it's not a past person that wants to come towards you. It's whoever this rich girl is here. This rich girl stole here. And this rich girl is the one that's going to be receiving some type of sad news here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm also picking up, too, that it could be a team situation. So somebody literally could be trying to send somebody in here. This rich girl could be trying to send in this past person, or this past person could be trying to send in this rich girl. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, they both had something to do with this theft when it comes to you here. Mm-hmm. For others of you, no. It's somebody that your past person was dealing with here. What else, Spirit? Yeah, somebody's going to get some sad news here that somebody literally is going to pass away here from from some type of health issue. But at the same time, if somebody tries to come toward you that your spirit spiritual team hasn't improved to come towards you yeah they're going to get some sad news that they are going to pass away from some type of health issue but for others of you somebody has already received that information here yeah uh forget forget who you are here yeah so for some of you yeah somebody wants to come towards you to make you literally go left forget who you are this is a number 41 card, so it breaks down to a 5 here. So you've changed here. You've changed big time. Somebody wants wants to come in to basically get you to go left, forget who you are here. Yeah. It says conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you here. So yeah, somebody literally is trying to wipe out your memory or something like that here. Somebody literally could be trying to do something to you to stop you from... Um, remembering something here or stop you from being able to um, speak some type of truth or something like that here. But yeah, your memory no longer defines you. The past doesn't, past doesn't matter. The past is the past. Only thing that you should be focusing on is moving forward to the future here. The present and the future. The past doesn't matter here. Yeah, we have to keep your temper here. So, don't allow anger to rule you here. For some of you, yeah, this person is going to try to come in, you know, and basically call you every liar in the book here. Or, you know, if they don't try to come towards you, somebody literally is going to reach out to you here. Um, but, yeah, somebody is literally going to try to, you know, get you to basically shut up or get you to not want to remember something here. I feel like somebody literally wants to come towards you and do that, not communicate with you, come towards you here. Yeah, but whoever you are, your memory no longer defines you here. Um, so there could be a past person here that is going to come in and try to tempt you. This sneaky fox here. And if this is not you, it's your past person dealing with this karmic here. But either way it goes, it has something to do with you. Take it how it resonates. Again, they could be working as a team. I don't know. But yeah, keep your team. I mean, excuse me. Keep your temper here. Uh, don't allow anger to rule you here. So something is going to take place that is going to piss you off to the highest degree. But your spiritual team definitely has your back here. And so, yeah, for some of you, there could be some communication here that leads to you um, getting upset here as well. Somebody literally isn't going to be able to uh, come towards you here. So, that's, that's not what's going to uh, trigger your temper here. And it could literally be the, the information here. You know, somebody saying that you're not a good mom. Somebody saying that, you know, you you take risk in your home or you do this, you do that. You're a karmic. You don't take care of your children. Um, you, you have some type of health issue that you're going to die from. There is somebody behind the scenes that literally was trying to ruin your reputation, basically trying to take your life with words here. 
And so you're possibly going to find that out here. Yeah, we have I want to be queen here. So it's somebody that wants your spot here. But whoever you are, keeping your temp temper, well, that because this literally could be a test here. Because on the card it says passing passing a test here, stating your sovereignty and declaring freedom here. Yeah. So whoever you are, you are an empress here. You're a true empress here. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants your spot here. But not forgetting who you are here. Not allowing somebody to erase or or uh, not not living in the past here because memory no longer defines you here. Not living in the past. Only living in the present and looking forward to the future. And, and basically staying in temperance energy. Keeping a balance, mind, body, and spirit. As far as keeping your temper, don't allow anger to rule you here. Yeah, you're gonna pass this test here because whoever you are, you're definitely you. You're definitely rare, and you are definitely free here. Mhm. Mm yeah. Don't let a, a moment's regret here uh, take you out here. Don't let don't let your temper rule you here. I feel like somebody literally wants that to happen here. Somebody is expecting for you to go to prison here with the expectation in prison here. Yeah, you're going to continue to move forward. But somebody literally knows that you're almost at the finish line. So their expectations are for to get you locked up here in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. Yeah, choices in the reverse here. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. And you definitely are going to have many choices to come here. Um, it could be in love, it could be, you know, in, in, in work, it could be whatever choices in your life that you have been manifesting, they are coming to fruition here. This choices card in the upright, it says feeling blocked, restrained here, but it's in the reverse here. So yeah, and it is a number six card. So yeah, you are rare and free. There are, there are not many like you and yeah, past choices, they don't matter. This choices card is a number six. So yeah, some whoever this past person is or, or your past here, whatever they're trying to bring up here, whether it's true or not, yeah, you're not you it's not going to restrain you here from moving forward. It's not going to block you from moving forward here. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever these people are, yeah, they literally think that they're going to or this person that they're going to literally restrain you or stop you based off of your past or whatever or that's what somebody wants wants you to do here they want you to go back to the past here they want you to operate out of your old self here well it ain't it don't work like that mm -hmm. yeah this a moment's regret has uh came back out here so don't let somebody get don't let somebody come towards you and and get you to go left here because yeah you're definitely going to regret it here you're definitely going to regret it here and that's exactly what somebody's trying to do. And I feel like because this fox card, uh, the fox is in the snow here. So it's something about the winter time here. It could be literally, uh, you know, during the holidays or something. When somebody literally is going to try to um, come in to, to basically get you to go left here. What else, spirit? We have a cancer here, so you could be a cancer, have it in your chart, or somebody that's involved in this situation could be a cancer here. Yeah, somebody's going to act like that they want to come in and offer you resources and stability here. It could be a cancer here, or you're the cancer, but somebody literally is going to try to come in to act like that they want to offer you resources and stability here. But I feel like that that's the way... That they feel like that they can, you know, infiltrate your energy. Whoever you are, you're almost at the finish line when it comes to victory. So that's giving me like the nine of pentacles energy here. All you need is one more pentacle to get to the ten of pentacles here. Yeah, somebody literally could be doing mirror magic here. Yeah, whoever this is that's, that's going to try to come in to offer you resources and stability here. This could be a friend, acquaintance, or co-worker here. Or there could be some a new person that wants to come in and literally offer you resources and stability here. This could be a friend, acquaintance, or co-worker here. We do have new connection here. So for some of you, yeah, you're going to be re getting into some type of co new connection here. <clears throat> for some of you, whoever this past person is, they know that you're going to get in some type of new connection here.
And so, yeah, they're going to try to stop this from happening as well here. And that's a part of your victory. Yeah, because this is a past person here. This is a past person. So your victory doesn't um, include this past person here. We have Libra here. So you could be a Libra. I have it in your chart here. Or somebody or, or whoever this new connection is could be with a Libra here. Yeah, and what's crazy is we have coming in to offer resources and stability, and then we have unexpected money with false person. So yeah, whoever this is, yeah, they're they're going to try to come in to offer you resources and stability here. They're going to try to act like that they want to be your friend here, uh, that they want you know to to work with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They're even they're even going to say um, that they want some type of new connection with you here. But we have Libra here, so the scales are going to be balanced. So there is some type of legal situation here that is taking place here. And so, yeah, that's one of the reasons why this person wants to come in here. For some of you, this literally could be your twin flame. Or, some, or somebody literally is trying to stop your twin flame from coming in here. So it could be a karmic here as well. I saw Leo at the bottom of the deck, so you could be a Leo or have it in your chart, or there's a Leo involved here. Yeah, we hit Twin Flame came right back out here. For some of you, your Twin Flame is coming. You know, your Divine Counterpart is coming. This could be a new uh, Divine Counterpart here. Or somebody's going to try to come, or, or uh, uh, your Twin Flame literally could be trying to come in here. Um, and, and, and this person knows here, they possibly don't know that it's your twin flame, but they possibly know, um, that, that there is a new connection coming in here. The scales are going to be balanced. Your twin is coming in, your divine counterpart is coming in, and it definitely is going to be a long-term situation here. Yeah, we have masculine energy here. So this, ma so there's a masculine energy here They that could be your twin flame. Um, that wants some type of long-term situation with you here. Uh, this uh, masculine energy could be a cancer. Whoever this masculine energy is, they do want to come in and offer resources and stability. But at the same time, um, whoever this masculine energy is, they literally could be your twin flame. You know, that, that lost their spot here. Let's be honest. They're going to try to come in and act like that they want to have a long-term situation with you here. Um, you could have some type, you can have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rat or whoever this masculine energy is could here. Uh huh. You could be an Aquarius or have it in your chart, or this person could be an Aquarius here. Somebody definitely did is going to try to rat on somebody as well here. So, the, so whoever this masculine energy is, they could be the one that tried to rat on you. They could be the, the sneaky fox here. Mm hmm. Somebody literally could have listened to somebody. Uh, this masculine energy could have listened to this karmic here. Um, and, and they could have literally ratted on you, but they lied. Mm -hmm. There is some type of new connection coming in. Somebody literally could be wanting to come in uh, with some type of advice and guidance here. When it comes to... Uh, some type of legal situation here, but whoever this is is coming in with advice and guidance literally could be a Libra have it in their chart Whoever this Libra is. Yeah, they could literally be your soulmate here So the person that's coming in with advice and guidance literally could be your soulmate here So you have a soulmate and you have a twin flame here I feel like one is long term one is short term here the one that's coming in to, to offer you, to, to act like that they want to offer you some type of long term here, is not the person that you want to be with here. And it could literally be your twin flame here. Yeah, your twin flame is a snake here. But somebody could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a snake. Yeah, and then we have Taurus here, so you could be a Taurus or have it in your chart. Or somebody that's involved could be a Taurus here. 
We have Gemini here, so you could be a Gemini, have it in your chart, or somebody that's involved with the situation could be a Gemini or have it in their chart. God said what's done is done. So yeah, the past is the past. Only thing that we should be concerned about is the present and the future. And yeah, whoever this is, they couldn't hear anything because they were too busy talking. So this is a know-it-all here. Yeah, they were too busy ratatouilleing on somebody. They were too busy telling on somebody. Um, when when what they were telling wasn't even true here, they were just making stuff up here. I feel like whoever this person or these people are, they were trying to get your victory regardless here. Whoever these people are, they know that you're 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 destined for victory and success here. You're destined for a great life here. Yeah, something could take place in the next full moon here. I think the next full moon comes maybe the end of November, I think. I don't know. Whoever you are, you definitely could be cold as ice to these people here. Somebody literally could have already tried to do something under the full moon, the last full moon or whatever, and it didn't work here. Yeah, whoever this is, yeah, they're a put-down artist here. So you're definitely going to find that out, that this person literally put you down in every way, shape, form, and fashion that they could here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, they, they, they choose the dark side. They, this person possibly said that you lived in the dark side. Lies. We could have a, uh, there's a Virgo Leo, I mean Virgo Libra Cusper here. Yeah. Whoever this is, they literally could have put you in a competition here. And I'm pretty sure that you knew nothing about this competition. Or this person thinks that they're going to put you in some type of competition here. But guess what? God said no. God said no. So if this is your twin flame, they should have followed the rules. They should have followed the rules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we have first time felon here, so you possibly don't have a um, record here. Somebody was possibly trying, this this person or these people were trying to get you to become a first time felon here. Yeah, um, somebody in this situation is getting ready to be a first time felon here. Yeah, and they know that you know. So they know that you know that they were trying to set you up to get locked up here. They know that you know that somebody is about to be a first time felon. Of course you know. You're the one that's almost at the finish line here. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of the day, your your spiritual team is going to make sure that you know everything that's going on around you here. And I feel like that this is one of those messages here. This is like a warning message. Um, yeah, during the winter time or by the winter time, somebody's going to try to come towards you on that BS. You know, trying to play games, play on your top here. God said no. Somebody's getting ready to be a first time felon. If th this person or these people were trying to cause you to be a first time felon, nope. And yeah. One thing about them tables is they uh, is they turn here. Whoever you are, you know who these people are. And they know that you know what has been taking place behind the scenes. Yeah, you need to keep moving forward here. You need to keep moving forward. Regardless of what happens, you need to keep moving forward here. Yeah, you could have been praying, you know, you, you, you definitely um, possibly are continuing your spiritual practices, you know, your yoga, your meditation, you know, um, whatever your spiritual practices entail. I feel like that that's what you're doing here. And so, yeah, your ancestors called and you picked up here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, your ancestors, spirit guides and angels know, of course, what these people's plans are here. And yep, somebody's health is declining here. So with that being said, uh, the person that health is declining, they need to po focus on their health because yeah, if they try to get you, if they try to come towards you, it's a done deal. They're gonna be erased off of this 
off of this earth, this good earth. Um, yeah, but for others of you that don't, that health is not declining. Yeah, they're going to find out that their health is going to take a turn for the worse overnight. I just heard. Yeah, but somebody's health is declining here. And I just, uh, yeah. I just saw selling property, selling and pawning property or items here. So with that um, house and getting a lot of money, somebody literally could have sold a home here. But we did pick up that somebody was having financial issues here. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to be a first time felon, but they're also receiving karma here. Karma is justice here. Yeah, somebody's, yeah, karma is justice here. So a part of, so yeah, justice is still going to be served. But karma is justice. So yeah, whoever this is, that health is declining here. That's a part of the car. That's a part of their karma, but it's also a part of justice as well. Yeah, whoever these people are, they know you know. But they also know that you know that you're almost at the finish line here. So whatever they were doing behind the scenes, yeah, it's almost done. So if there was a case that was open on your be on your behalf, it's almost done. If you were waiting here, you know, for this unexpected money, it's almost on its way to you. Yeah, because somebody literally could be determined to have sex with you here as well. Yeah, and whoever these people are, or this person, take how it resonate. They know you know everything that's been taking place behind the scenes. You possibly don't know how much, how bad these people were trying to ru ruin your reputation. But as far as these people committing a crime against you, I'm pretty sure that they, you know, and they know you know here, and they're overload, they're burdened, overloaded, and stressed here. The pot, the fact of the matter is, whatever they were saying behind the scenes to ruin your reputation, yeah, that could lead to you know some type of crime as well here. Because it's called lying to officials here. It's called um, defaming somebody's character. Even though that's not really a crime. But a def defamation character character can turn into a crime. If it literally causes somebody physical harm. So for some of you. Somebody could have yeah, said that you had something to do with, uh, with a death here. Or something like that here. Yeah that could lead to more charges being put on these people here. Yeah spirit says continue to move forward. Continue to have your heart on ice here. When it comes to uh, whoever the, this person or these people are. I mean, it just fell on the floor, y'all, but it fell upright. We know God is in the building over here in B's Nation here. Yeah, we have December here. So, mm -hmm, by the winter time, by the winter time, somebody's going to try to come in and, knock in and try to get you to go left here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody feels like by the winter time, I guess you're not in communication with this person or these people here. So by the winter time, yeah, maybe I can come in. Maybe I would be unsuspecting here. Nope. Nope. You know why? Because whoever you are, your spiritual team is going to make sure that you know what's going on. Period. Yeah. Yeah. And then look, someone from your past is coming back. And they're going to try to confess something here. No, they're not. They're going to try to stop stop your victory. That's what they're going to try to do. Yeah, Judas energy. Judas energy here. Yeah. Yeah, Spirit says keep moving. So there is a Judas energy that's going to try to infiltrate your energy come December. They're going to try to come towards you here. They have a whole lot of stuff. That they got going on in their life on top of everything that they were doing behind the scenes when it comes to you. And I was picking up the energy that somebody literally did want to have sex with you. Let's get it on. So yeah, 
Judas energy here in December. Somebody literally is going to try to come towards you for some of you to, to have sex with you. But this is the person that has some type of uh, health issue here. Yeah, Spirit says uh, establish firm boundaries here. Um, whoever this person is, they, they literally are going to think that they're unsuspecting here. Like you're not going to suspect them here because I feel like that they're going to try to come in and offer you stability and resources. Everything that you don't need. You're almost at the, the, the finish line. You're already victorious and successful here. This is somebody that's already trying to play with you. Try to play on your top. Try to basically take you out for the world to see here. Yeah, establish firm boundaries here. This person is going through karma. Karma, karma here. And this person knows you know that they're going through karma. They're not dumb. Or they just might be. I don't know. Yeah, this person is going through karma. Continue to devote your energy um, to your goals here. Because whoever this person is, yeah, they're going to try to come in and have sex with you. And that, and, and literally uh, going to try to disturb your peace here. So they're literally going to try to get you to go left. And then on top of that, you're going to end up having some type of health issue here. I don't know what this health issue here but is that they have. But we have the trapezium. So they're trying to get you trapped by whatever health issue that they have here. Yeah, God will take the trash out for you, like we already talked about. Yep. Whoever you are, your life is definitely good here, and this person knows it here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your life is good here. Whoever this person is, yeah, they're too traumatized. This person needs to heal, but at the same time, whoever this person is, because they know that you are traumatized in some way, shape, form, or fashion, yeah, they're going to try to come in and play on your top. And then on top of that, whoever this person is, they possibly are going to try to get you pregnant here. Yeah, whoever this is, they're a drama starter here. Whoever this is, yeah, they literally were trying to cause drama in your life for a very long time. Yeah, your life is good here. And it's because this person or these people were operating in Judas energy, doing whatever they were doing behind the scenes when it comes to you. And yeah, this person knows that your life is good, but this person also knows that your life is getting ready to be better. You're almost at the finish line. Yeah, you're getting ready to have no more financial worries here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're getting ready to soar with this airplane energy here. You could be an air sign, maybe Gemini or an Aquarius here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you cannot unring a bell. So whatever's done is done. Like God said in the be in the beginning of uh, when I picked these cards up here, God said, "What's done is done." Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody knows that they're they're they're, they're going to be out of time here, or somebody knows that they're out of time here, or that's how they feel. That's why they're going to try to come towards you here, but they possibly already know that. Yeah, you're not going to have it. You don't have any more financial worries here. Um, but I'm also picking up too that there could be somebody else here that feels like they're out of time here with trying to stop you as well here. I feel like that there is a couple people who are trying to stop you here. Um. But yeah, you're you're getting ready to not have any more financial worries here. But yeah, somebody also knows that they traumatized you here. So they possibly know that there is no way to infiltrate your energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to realize that, yeah, whatever they were doing, they waited too late. Or whatever their plan was, yeah, they, they definitely are going to be out of time here. We have the cold moon here. On December the 26th here. Yeah, that full moon could be in Cancer. And that's the first zodiac sign that came out was Cancer here. This uh, cold moon is all about tapping into the supernatural and accessing your intuition here. So yeah, somebody knows that you know that they're coming. Or somebody knows that, that they're going to be out of time because uh, we're at by December the 26th. We have December, so December the 26th could be significant here. Somebody literally could know that by the December the 26th or whenever this plan was supposed to play out here, that they that they ran out of time here. Or they're going to find this out here. We have a, a Gemini Cancer Cusper here. Yeah, whoever you are, you're definitely authentic and real here. For some of you, 
when it comes to this full moon here, something didn't work. Oh, ritual sacrifice here. So somebody knew somebody did some type of ritual sacrifice during the last full moon here. Or they were trying to here. They're gonna try to do it again here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's gonna try to play catch up here. Or somebody realized that they were out of time when it came to this full moon. So maybe they did, couldn't, wasn't able to do it on the full moon. They're going to try to do it on this cold moon. But guess what? It's all about tapping into the supernatural and accessing your intuition. So your intuition are, is already on. As far as the supernatural, they're going to run into some shit that they don't want to run into. And that's, and that's possibly what's going to erase them off the face of the planet here. Yeah, Spirit says keep doing you here. There is a karmic masculine here. Uh, for some of you, um, somebody is trying to do this ritual sacrifice on a, a, a prosecutor here. Mm-hmm. And I'm also picking up, too, that whoever this karmic masculine energy is... They could be finding this out about somebody, the karmic in their life here. But I feel like whoever this person is, they're li yeah, we already talked about that. They're literally going to try to come towards you because their life sucks here. But it's also because they know that they owe you. They know that they have to pay the cost to be the boss. Yeah. Somebody definitely is dealing with some type of mental health condition as well. And it possibly is because of some type of what they were... The, the, the ritual sacrifices or whatever they were doing here. But somebody literally is going, yeah, do a ritual sacrifice in December here to, to mess with somebody's mental health here. To get somebody to go left here. Expecting somebody to get locked up because they done went left and they done spazzed out. And they done fluffed some stuff up here. Yeah. Spirit says keep doing you here because it's just going to affect them. So if it's a karmic masculine that's doing it. Uh, they're gonna, they're the ones that's gonna be dealing with this mental health condition here. If it's a karmic feminine, they're the ones that's gonna be dealing with it. It's gonna go right back here. But I was picking up two energies here. So regardless if it's feminine or masculine energy, there is two people that want to come towards you here. Yeah, somebody wants to have some type of union with you here. Mhm. Mm but there is a, uh, there's two energy here. There is a karmic masculine that has some type of mental health condition here that wants to have some type of union with you here. But but there's a but this person possibly also wants you to feel bad for them here. Mm hmm Some type of stage death here. So whoever this is. This karmic masculine or feminine, take it how it resonates. Somebody literally could could be trying to stage their death or something like that. And then try to come towards you here. What the heck, spirit? There's a karmic masculine that wants you to feel bad for them for some type of stage death here. Or they're going to try to come towards you to get you to feel bad for them here. They, mm -mm. Let me get up out of there. A half truth is a whole lie. So, yeah. Whoever you are, you definitely live a drama free life here. Anything else, Fred? Yeah, continue to have your heart on ice. It came out twice here. Somebody literally is going to try to come in. You know, for some of you, there is a union to be had. We already talked about that, the new connection. Um, but for others of you, it's somebody that wants to come in to try to get you to go left here. Somebody definitely does have love on the brain for you, though, here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody literally could be uh, caught drunk texting here. Something like that. But whatever the stage death is, it's definitely a part of the plan here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody literally does want you to say something here. They want you to clap back. Some type of verbal retaliation here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
We have holding here. So somebody's holding. You you could be holding out here. But somebody's holding on. Hoping that their luck doesn't change now. They're hoping that if you clap back verbally here. Say something here. That their luck uh, doesn't change. Or their luck doesn't change here. Yeah. But it's something about some type of frozen assets here. So these people's assets have been frozen here. Um, and so yeah. Somebody's trying to come towards you here. Hoping their luck doesn't change. Hoping that, that, that these assets will be unfrozen here. It's something about whatever these people have done behind the scenes to you here. And yeah, somebody literally is going to try to come towards you here to possibly try to get you to not remember something or to get you to go left, to get you locked up so that their hope, their luck stays the same here. Whoever these people are, they don't got no luck. They're going through karma. So these people are delusional and they need to get a life. And at the same time, they're going to find out what real life is, what God life is um, if they try to come towards you. So anyways, y'all, that's been the message. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.